We now have dual brushes in ToonSquid. This brush engine development improves complexity and depth of brushes that we can build in app and also retains better quality of the ABR file imports from Photoshop. We have two new brushes. The first is in the watercolor section, sharing attributes that mock traditional watercolor through translucent strokes that reveal surface textures. And the second is in the airbrush, whose effect is most pronounced when changing the background and utilizing values to enhance the impression of light. So let's get into how these brushes are set up. When we open the brush editor, we now have the dual option. We need to toggle it on to activate. For half of the shape, I'm going to use the ToonSquid built-in and my own that I created in Procreate. In the sample here with no grain, you can see how the shapes uniformly interact. Now shifting to the grain, whichever shape I select, is going to be the one that is affected individually by the grain I choose upon it. For the next shape, I'll take a more technical grain so that we can see the differences. Without further adjustments, this is what the brush looks like as is. You can also duplicate the built-ins and start experimenting, building up families of brushes by changing singular aspects and finding interesting ways to manipulate shapes within shapes to give texture, flow, and mark to each stroke pattern. Then in the properties menu, we have the library of blend modes. One specifically important if you want to make outline brushes, for example, would be the selection of difference. And dealing with color dynamics, though not as extensive as other programs, is still a lot of fun. And you can use your new brushes for erase and blend as well. And I re-imported the stick man to add grain and complexity for alternate versions. So that's a quick overview. Hope it helped. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.